Hey. Um, uh, hey. Uh, so this morning I have, well, this afternoon, um, uh, Kmart wired mice. This is like a little introduction to using a wired mouse or any mouse for um, custom controller stuff. So wired mice are better, in my opinion, or wired controllers are better um, because they uh, tie the player to the game. Um, you can see immediately as a spectator who's playing because they're the ones that are linked to the game with a cable. They're also um, easier to set up in terms of you don't have to fuck around with Bluetooth. Um, you don't have to fuck around with like just wireless connections in general. Um, you also don't have to fuck around with batteries. Um, so these mice are like five bucks from Kmart. Um, they're really standard, sort of you know, left click, right click, middle click, scroll reel, reel. Uh, pretty simple. They also have a very easy um, screw, like single screw. Um, underneath the little um, test and tag sticker. So, um, the screw came out. Fuck knows where that went. And with a little magic, um, the top bit just sort of clips off, and you have the underside. Um, so, if I can have a look at this thing, yeah, focus. Um, so, really simple, obviously, the, this little guy here is the guy that picks up the mouse movement. Mouse movement's a huge pain in the ass, so if you can avoid using an actual mouse for mouse movement, that'd be great, unless you're using it as a mouse, which is fine. Um, then you've got, obviously, scroll wheel. These little guys are the switches um, for left and right click. And then down here underneath, if you just like, get rid of the scroll wheel. Then you've also got, focus again, come on, focus, anyway, this little guy here is the middle click button. So um, you've also got this little bit of plastic underneath that does something with the LED. Oh, you also have an LED, um, which is different than the one in the other one, so that's weird. Um, these mice are really cheaply made. So things are very easy to solder, um, or solder if you're American and can't speak right. The, um, I suppose like these little switches are the best. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, it's pretty easy to look at the back of them, um, see which ones are soldered in. Uh, one of them will be ground and one of them will be the signal. Um, you can unsolder them and why am I saying solder? You can unsolder them um, and chuck in some cables or like some little thin wires. Um, and then you can run that input to anywhere you like. So let's see. One I prepared earlier. Um, so this board, oh, yeah. I've taken off um, pretty much everything, like the, I've taken off the scroll wheel. Um, reader, which I haven't really played around with yet. Um, taking off the little um, switches and I've taken the LED off um, and then just as a sort of test uh, I put a couple of little wires in so you can kind of see the back, this little bit here <coughs> where I put the wires in um, and then that means I've just got a longer stretch of wire with the same LED um, at the end, so that does that. Gen that doesn't really do much in terms of um, control stuff. 
but I mean it works. So what that means is that if I did want to use a button, like an arcade button, I could make it LED lit up. Um, something also to note is that when you have more um, expensive mice, uh, this is a inside of a wireless mouse. Um, even if you get the cheap Kmart wireless mouse that only has um, left, right, middle clicks, um, it still has little spots in there where I've put some wires here for um, a fifth and sixth uh, mouse button. Um, so if you take it apart, you can use those as well, which was cool to find out. Um, go to Kmart, it's cheap. And what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, so the I guess the application is to either either you could take this uh, the inside of the mouse right now. Mm, focus. All right. Um, and put that somewhere where these uh, little switches would be accessible. Um, but chances are that's not going to happen. So what you want to do is. Um, unsolder the connections at the back, pull out the switch, fuck it off, um, run a couple of little wires in, and then run them straight to a regular arcade switch, um, which you can then mount in uh, whatever you want. Um, and the problem would be that they would just be going to mouse, so the input would be taken as, as mouse clicks. Um, which you could change with uh, something like Auto Hotkey, um, or just find a game that uses mouse clicks. Um, if you with the three inputs you get from this wired mouse, which costs you five bucks, um, I could have wired that up to say um, this little guy, which was a board, a really simple three-button board we made for Ian the Party's game. Um, so at the moment. Uh, three buttons and an iPad encoder, whereas I could have just used that mouse um, and auto hotkey, which I wouldn't because I've got iPads laying around. But if I wanted to do it really cheap um, and I had a bunch of mice that I didn't want, then hey, maybe I'd do that. Uh, yeah, so any questions about mice, feel free to contact me because uh, this is really just a brief overview. It all depends on the game. Um, or what you want to do with the mouse, and that's pretty endless. So good luck, and make something cool, and then send me a photo.